With the record temperatures of two weeks ago but a distant memory, autumn has well and truly arrived. Many gardens are full of fallen leaves, dishevelled edges and unkempt lawns. So here with everything you need to give your garden a bit of a tidy up, please welcome David Dominey. <laughs> David, of course, is to wait until absolutely everything's down. Leave all the leaves on the lawn and then do it. Well, you've no lawn left then, have you? Absolutely. And you want your garden to look quite tidy. And uh, I suppose a lot of it's a little bit like uh, um, almost a, a mini makeover, like hairdressing, really. Sort of like giving a quick short back and size to your hedge or even a blow dryer the leaves off the lawn, <laughs> prune your plums or even bouffant your bush. And we've got all the different pieces of equipment to make those type of jobs easy and a bit of fun too. OK, let's have a look at what you've got. Because you used to have to rake leaves up. Now you can blow them or suck them. Absolutely. <laughs> and a couple of bits of kit that we've got here. This Bosch one here uh, uh, blows at about 130 mile an hour, which is a significant bit of kit. Oh, it shifts them. Yeah. But your dry. Makita is 187 miles an hour. Have a go at that, Alan. Whoa. It's got quite a kick when it's in your hand as well. And it changed it from that awkward job of raking to yeah. using these bits of equipment. They're a lot of fun. That's about 140 quid, that one. About 90 quid, this one. It's a lot of fun. The idea is to blow them all into a pile and then it's easier to pick them up. Absolutely. You've now, got ones that um, have got bags on there as well yeah. so you can collect it. That's right. These ones are suckers and blowers. And if you look at an area <laughs> like this, it blows. But if you make a, a change of the adapter there... It sucks them up and shreds them, which is ideal for, for use for composting. Putting on the compost way. or a separate leaf mould heap, which is very useful as a soil enricher. Cost of these sort well, of larger kits here? Well, these ones here, this one's about £70. There's a very good one at B&Q at the moment for just £35. Not as good a piece of equipment as that one, but for that type of thing, you get a lot of bang for And if you're only using it for a couple of days a year, you know, it's worth it, 35 quid. Isn't and it? it's a bit of fun, tidying up the garden too. <laughs> uh, pruning is a key thing. We've got a couple of them here. I'll have one for you and... Uh, well, secateurs, of course, when you low down, and loppers for thicker ones. But if they're high up, you've got bits of broken branch. That's what these are for, isn't it? Absolutely. And having a double pulley system, as you can see at the top and bottom, gives you that extra leverage to cut through those branches. It's really easy to pull. There's not a lot of pressure needed on this to do that. It's geared, sort of, isn't it, really? Absolutely. And it's telescopic, too, so you so can you really reach right up. Right up a long way. With a saw attachment as well, and that's a nice bit of kit. For about 60 quid, uh, you can't go far wrong in pruning up your fruit trees. And the difference with a pruning saw and an ordinary saw that you use for woodwork is that a pruning saw cuts on the pull stroke rather than the push stroke, which a normal saw does. Absolutely, and if you start by cutting the underside of the branch before you do the, the top side, it stops it tearing and pulling a bit of bark away as you go. I like this one too. This is uh, uh, almost like an uh, elongated pair of secateurs. Uh, at the top there, it just cuts down and you use this middle bar for it. But if you really want to reach up very high, you can use this lower section here, which pulls and again the activates the secretary at the That's top. That's very neat. Fancy you thought of that. What a lovely thing to do. It's cool, isn't Pleasing it? piece of equipment. What's it going to cost? Uh, it's about £33. So really it, good, it, it? It's a nice bit. £60 yeah. pounds and 33 they work out pretty well too. Cutting your hedge, you can get battery, you can get, you know, petrol driven, which most professional tree users, tree surgeons use, but we tend to use battery or electric. Yeah, it's so much more convenient rather than all the mixing. Now, mm. if you've got a really big hedge or a lot of pruning, you need some serious bit of kit. You can either use uh, uh, these ones here, the Makita 60 uh, inch there, which is an electric version. Um, 60 centimetres. 60 centimetres, yep. yeah, rather, which gives you the opportunity to, to cut a hedge very easily. Yeah. If you want to double your money, these are about £150. If you double your money, uh, £300 plus, you can get a battery operated one. And, and again, these ones here, uh, it's a nice bit. How long will it last on a, a charging? It's about three quarters of an hour, 45 minutes or something like this. So Probably if you can afford you'd it. be happy to do anyway with the sound. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, your arms will start to ache yeah. after about half yeah. an hour. Uh, if you've got smaller hedges, uh, things like the Works and the Bosch, for around about uh, £70, do the job. Mm -hmm. And again, they're battery too. And when you've got all the clippings off, you've got all the bits and bobs, and you actually want to compost them but they're too woody, then what you need is a shredder. You've got a rare, fair old range of shredders here, this great long row of them. Uh, obviously various prices on these uh, two. Absolutely. It's a bit of kit. It's turning all that garden rubbish, which is difficult to get rid of, and using it back into your own home too. Uh, this is the most expensive one here. Gloves and glasses. Absolutely. Safe glasses. So uh, when it comes to it, you're operating any machinery, it's always best to check all the advisory sections. We've got a little bit of instructions oh, of in them as well. There, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, but these obviously protect your hands and your eyes as well from fly material. Uh, this is the most expensive one of the lot. This is coming out nearly 700 quid, the Makita one. I mean, this one here will do up to 50 millimetres thick. Now, 
this branch here is 20 millimeters, mm. so it gives you an idea. It's quite a powerful bit of kit, and at 700 quid, uh, it should be. And that one there, the green uh, one? This one here will do up to about 20, 30. Uh, let's give it a go. Yeah. Uh, have a look. You, you've had your chips, I think, on that <laughs> one. Made a bit of short work with that. This one here, this Bosch uh, one. I'm liking the Bosch one. At £210, it will carry, because it crushes as well as cuts as well. So it's brilliant for that. Go on, Alan. Oh, yeah, you can feel it crushing as it goes in. Woo! And the thing I like about that, it's nice and quiet, too. It's not as loud as some of these shredders. And it all goes down into this at the bottom. So when you've rotted this down a bit, it will then turn into, you know, the equivalent of bark chips that you would, or, you know, crushed bark and, and stem that you're getting in your bag. So you're saving yourself on, on mulching material as saving well. Saving yourself on mulching and disposing of it, and you're turning stuff back into the garden yeah. too, which we love. I would always wait a bit, though. I wouldn't put the mulch on fresh. Let it rot down a bit in a pile yeah, of corn no, right. and then put it on. Well, there we are. If you'd like more information about any of the products we've featured today, visit our website, itv.com forward slash Alan. My thanks to the man with all the facts and figures, David Dominey. Thank you, Alan.